Hello everyone, this is Jason with For Geek Sakes, and welcome to part 2 of my Installing Communication Manager Express. Now if you haven't done so, I would recommend you go back and watch part 1, especially if you are beginning because it basically walks through step by step how to install the TFTP server and get the files over to the router for use. Um, but for those of you who are ready to start on part 2, let's begin. The first thing I would recommend do is doing a clock set. Basically, that eliminates an error that could occur when you go to create the CNF files. So I'm going to do that right now. We're going to put a date here. Alright, the next thing we're going to do is go in and change my time zone not necessary but I like to do it anyway I'm in the eastern time zone and my UTC offset is 5 the next thing we're going to do is go into telephony services this is basically like the global configuration for the telephones um, I'm gonna set the max DN now this is the maximum number of maximum directory numbers allowed on your communication manager express now I'm totally going to be throwing out numbers here but for you when you go to create this for a live production network you probably need to take a little more time to say how many phones I'm gonna have on my network how many extensions I'm gonna have on my network and so forth but for me I'm just gonna throw a number out there and the next we need to do max e phones that's basically the the maximum number of phones on your network I'm just gonna pick five and the next one is going to be the IP source address. Uh, this is basically the router itself that the communication manager resides on. Um, so that is going to be the IP address right there. And it says updating CNF files. That's good. All right. The next thing we want to do is actually back up because we need to create um, files to be served to the TFTP server. Now what we need to do is do a show flash. because each phone needs its own set of files to be served using a TFTP server and we're going to actually use the router the communication manager, manager express router as the TFTP server um, what I'm going to do is take have you guys take a quick look at this web page from Cisco it's the Cisco Unified CME 7.0 slash 4.3 supported firmware platform memory and voice products um, if you're running a different version of CME you basically to get to this page you need to search everything but just leave out the actual version you're running and then from the search box you will be able to pick out the one that you are currently installing in my case I'm already here but basically inside of the TFTP server I need to serve certain files to certain phones now in this example today I'm gonna to be using the 7942 phones so I need to make sure all of these files are available especially this one so that being said I need to create a TFTP server to serve all of these files now I kinda of have them already here but I'm gonna show you the command and then I'll just copy and paste it, the rest of them just so it won't be uh, won't take so long so the first thing I need to do is and find that first file and what I'm doing is just picking out the, all of the 42's because that will represent my 7942 right click it and it puts it here so it's TFTP server flash colon and then the file name enter and the rest of them I'm gonna go ahead and do just to save some time I'm gonna do it from here and basically that is gonna make all those files available to my 7942 telephones okay the next thing we're gonna need to do is assign telephones and assign directory numbers and we do that by doing the ephone and ephone DN command the ephones for the telephone the ephone DN is for the directory numbers so we'll we'll start with the ephone directory numbers 
the sign of the number one and this is the extension we're gonna give it we're gonna say number and you can put any extension but it, to make things simple I'm gonna say one 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 enter Just choosing random numbers, and and it's good to go ahead and build out all of your extensions that you're going to be using, so you won't have to go back and forth, back and forth every time. And when you want to create a secondary number, you just type in, you just type in secondary. So we give it a number first off. Secondary. And this will be the register ID number, the DID number. That's how that's done. So we have three. That's good enough. We're just going to exit out. Now you need to create the ePhone itself. So uh, before I do that, I just want to show you that I already have one phone plugged in to my switch. So I have a 7942 already plugged in and this is good because it shows you the MAC address. So when you go to create the phone inside of Communication Manager Express, you don't have to go searching on the phone for the MAC address or anything like that. We can automatically display it with the show ePhone command. And then when we go to create the phone, ePhone 1, MAC address, and we just copy it. And paste it like that. Now, when you want to put and when you want to assign an extension to a phone, we use the button command. So, button one that means line one, the colon separates it, and the next number you put is the extension. So, if we look up here, ePhone DN1 was extension 1111, ePhone DN2 2 was extension one two two three so so if I did one colon one that would be extension one 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 on button number one if I did one colon two that would be extension one two two three on button number one but if I and this is a 7942 so if I did two colon one that would be button number two on the 7942 phone and it would be assigned extension one 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 so we're gonna go ahead and do line one extension number one okay and if we wanted to put another button on that phone we want to put a button I mean an extension on button number two we could say button two extension the end number three so that would be line one gets extension one 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 line two gets extension one two three four hit enter now once that done we want to reset the phones or we could restart the phones and see it says restarting okay that's about it guys I know that was short and to the point but that's what I intended for this particular video if you do have more questions or or any thoughts or idea or something I may have missed in doing this tutorial please feel free to let me know um, oh before I continue I just want to show you that the phone did indeed register and all of the extensions we assigned to the phone are now on the phone and working now if I were to add another telephone uh, then I could make calls between the two phones um, but right now just like call manager call manager express only knows about the phones it has in the system so of course you have to uh, set up dial peers for outside calls and in, in, in receiving calls so 
this basically is just a tutorial showing you how to uh, set up Call Manager Express and just get things going from a beginner level. Uh, once again, if you have any comments or questions, please please feel free to email me, text me, or call me. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. For geek sakes.